for black girl nerds. Good morning, Laura and Ben. Good to be with you, the oh, both of you this God. morning to talk about the capture. Let's, uh, it's like the series has almost become predictive considering how long ago it was written and we're seeing things that have happened on the show occur in real time now. With, uh, with the show returning for its next season and all of the things that are happening, beginning with you, Ben, uh, discuss maybe a little bit about your character's journey over the current season and maybe some things we can expect without spoiling it too much. Uh, I play um, a character called Commander Danny Hart. He's the leader of an organization of the Metropolitan Police, uh, which is the London-based uh, police authority. Uh, there's, a, there's a section within the Metropolitan Police called Counterterrorism Command, and that's kind of what it does. It does what it says it does. It deals with terrorist incidents in London, uh, around the UK, and also globally. They're called on to investigate any kind of major terrorist uh, incident around the world. And they have a they have a global reputation from having been dealing with incidents like this for a good sort of kind of 40, 50 years in the UK, particularly in relation to the troubles in Ireland in the in the 60s, 70s and, and 80s. So he leads a kind of world renowned organization, police force, who work closely with the secret services as well in the UK and uh, and the CIA too, uh, uh, and many other kind of global intelligence services. Um, and uh, he, he has this case brought to his attention by uh, someone who used to work for him who's now been shifted over to a homicide department. And uh, uh, the information that he receives about this case has a significance to him, uh, which he has to decide whether or not to divulge to those investigating the case. What you see throughout the show is you see him and his department and you you begin to realize where he sits in the hierarchy of authority in the UK in terms of law enforcement and secret service and uh, murder and terrorism investigations. As you say, it's a really, it's a really pressing piece in this whole, the whole world is set in, which is to do with CCTV usage, storage, and consequently manipulation, I think is a really, is an issue that a lot of people are talking about these days. Uh, the idea of deep fake, of fake news, of, of manipulation of real coverage, how you can edit something to look one way when in actuality the full footage shows an entirely different story. You know, you know that's going on all over the world. Um, so um, that's the world in which you see Danny. And uh, you, as the as the show progresses, you your assumptions about his character and. Many of the other characters in the show, and, and Laura, I'm sure we'll talk about hers, you know, your assumptions are challenged uh, and you begin to reassess what you think of each character uh, throughout the show. So um, it's, it's a fascinating show to watch. And also it's just a, a superb thriller as well. Laura, to that point, with your involvement in this project and, and the, the topics that we see, has this changed your the way that you operate with social media of how you allow yourself to be photographed or how much access you allow people to have to you, say with social media apps or anything like that? Yeah, it's a good question. I'm somebody who, who actually, um, I think naturally I want to live quite a invisible life. And that's a very strange thing to feel as an actor because as an actor, you are exposing yourself um, not only on screen, but also your personal life is, um, you know, potentially up for grabs. And so that is a very, that's something I've had to really like learn to feel more comfortable with. And it's, and it's, and it can be triggering and it can trigger anxiety. And sometimes you can think, God, like, do I really want to feel like this? And then you, and then I have to question myself, do I love what I do enough to, to build the tools within me to get really strong um, when it comes to my anxiety in terms of like 
as you say, like just your life being out there on social media and whatnot. So yeah, it's a really, really interesting conundrum that I've been having for a long time. I'm 34 now and Instagram, Twitter, all these things weren't really part of, well, definitely weren't anything to do with me wanting to be an actor and moving into this industry, but it has become something that some some actors, some people in the pub, in this industry feel like we have to do. And so it's like, you know, it's just that constant battle, isn't it, between either it, like enjoying it, not enjoying it, learning how to use it and really like throwing yourself into the departments of the social media world that really educate you, make you feel positive, make you feel like you can be part of a social change rather than it just feeling really um, cheap and and just you know obsessive over the wrong thing. So yeah, it's it's a it's I've been doing a lot of thinking about that recently, and I think you know again recently it's been actually a really vital tool. It's been one of the most important things that we've had in you know in like in terms of connecting a world and making a world really look and listen and 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 start to learn and so i think it's been an incredibly important thing for us always has been but recently the light has been shone on it and i think thank goodness for it because it means that you know things can be filmed and they can be put on on social media and then we can have movements like we're having right now so yeah i have I, it's i hope that made sense i have a two a two-way kind of relationship with it no i understand ron perlman says he's just going to stop acting and make TikTok videos from now on <laughs> i mean you could always do that there's always that option TikTok, i haven't got into TikTok, but i know like obviously i know what it is i want to do the one where you where you put your hand up to the camera and then when you pull it back your hair's all done <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Looking forward to the current season. Very predictive. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you.